In this video, we're going to work out the area of an ellipse by using trigonometric substitution. So uh, the equation of an ellipse is given by this. So the distance here is uh, is uh, is a, and the uh, the distance here is uh, is b. So uh, so if you follow this equation, it will give you this ellipse. We are going to work out the area of this ellipse. So start out with your your equation. So start out with your your equation. This is your equation here. Uh, rearrange it so that y is a subject. So rearrange it so that y is a subject. So uh, so you you would get to this stage here, and then uh, and then and then rewrite this, rewrite this as this, and then square root. So so when you're here, square root both sides, and the the um, the equation of the ellipse can can be written as this. So it can be the the, uh, the positive version of this and the negative version of this. So the positive version of this. Would be would be this, and then the negative version of this thing here would be this. Now we, we we are trying to work out the area of this ellipse. Um, let's just concentrate on one quadrant. Let's just work out this area here, so we can we can forget about the negative version. We can just concentrate on on the simple positive version. So so just work out the area of one quadrant, and then later on we can multiply it by four. So, uh, so start out with your equation. Rearrange it so that y is now the subject, and then, uh, and then, uh, and then just concentrate on on the simplest quadrant, this one here. So we can forget about the negative and concentrate on this. So, uh, so this is what we're trying to solve. Um, so, so we are trying to sum up all the strips. So really, to find out this area, we are summing up all the strips, meaning we will need to take the integral from from zero. From zero all the way to to a, so we would need to take the integral from zero all the way to a of this thing here, of this thing here, and we are moving in the in the dx direction. So that's this dx here. So so a quarter of an ellipse is given by this thing here. So now it's just a matter of integrating this. So uh, looking at this, whenever you see something of this form here, hang on. Whenever you see something of this form here, to integrate this, we're going to use um, trigonometric substitution. So to um, to integrate this, to integrate this, create a triangle in such a way that this is true. So create your triangle. Hang on. So create your triangle uh, in such a way that uh, that this is true. So create your triangle. So um, so looking at this here. Uh, so, so looking at this, if you make this to be a, and if you make this to be x, then the adjacent has no choice but to be this thing here, but to be uh, the square root uh, square root of a squared minus x squared. Let's w whatever this angle may be, we don't care. So let's just call it theta. So now, uh, now if we use um, if we use sine uh, sine of theta equals x over a so so this is your sign here so so re rearrange this to make x a subject so it's this a sine uh, theta equals x now because of this dx here we want to uh, well to, to, to obtain the dx we would differentiate so whether so so differentiate this with respect to um, to uh, to theta it will give you uh, a cos theta so dx equals this thing here so uh so now now we 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 need we need a way of um of replacing this thing here this complicated thing here well if we use if we use cos this is cos here if we say cos theta whatever theta whatever this angle may be we don't really care um it will be cos theta will be a square root a squared minus x squared over over the hypotenuse over a so um so now we can times both sides by by a so a cos theta equals the square root of a squared minus x squared so now now we we, we can replace the whole thing here now um we can uh looking at x here x no don't look at x looking at dx here uh if you put this into the dx here replace it with this and then uh, and then this complicated bit here we can replace it with this. So now we can put it put it into here. Okay, and then we, we are because uh, because we are integrating with respect to uh, to x from from.
from a for, sorry from zero to a well the minute you you the minute you make this substitution here you you would need to change this it's no longer this is it, with respect to this is with respect to x but but now we are we are we are replacing everything with um, with theta so so you integrating it from from zero from zero to a you integrating it from zero to a would be you integrating it from zero to a and this is in in the x direction but we are replacing the x direction with with theta so so the, the equivalent in terms of theta would be from zero to um to pi over uh pi over two yeah well pi over two so uh so how bear with me so after replacing everything you you do need to change the uh the uh the 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 a here from the zero to a here so this whole thing here this whole thing here will then become will then become this will then become this so er, earlier it was from zero to a but that was us integrating it with respect to um with respect to x now we need to do it with respect to theta the equivalent with respect to theta would be from zero to pi over two from zero to pi over two well replace everything in here a quarter of an ellipse will be given by this so now tidy this up it will give you this so now it's just a matter of integrating this whenever you want to integrate sine squared or cos squared you should think about this and we've seen this many times you, you should think about this so now um, now use this we don't need this for the sake of this video so uh, we, we can now put this into here so this whole thing here will become this will become this factor out the uh, the half so that will then give you uh, factor out the half that will then give you this a b over 2 bracket um, 1 plus cos uh, 2 theta and then you, you can break you uh, you can uh, you can break this up into two different integrals but uh, th this here is an inefficient way of doing it um, you can break it up into two different integrals which is the way that I've done here but it's an inefficient way you could just um, you could just integrate you could just integrate this whole thing here uh, 1 plus cos uh, 2x uh, 2 whatever here you, you could just take integrate the whole thing here you don't need to break it up into two different integrals here okay but but let's let's just do it anyway so uh, so now um, now from here um, that will then take you to here and then now it's just a matter of integrating this integrating this evaluate it from 0 to 2 pi evaluate it from 0 to 2 pi that will then give you this and then and then uh, and then uh, and then and then what and then uh, tidy up it will then give you this so a quarter of an ellipse is given by this so now times both sides by 4 so uh, the whole ellipse will be given by this. So this here is your final answer. Okay?